Hello, lovely Pisces, and welcome back. Thank you for tuning in to your collective general reading in love. If you're new, welcome in. I greatly appreciate all of your love and support on this channel. Pisces, this is for Pisces Collective. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, in love. And this is from today, June 11th through June 30th for Pisces. This is for Pisces, for what advice is the most important messages in love for the lovely Pisces Collective. This reading will not resonate with all of you out there. Keep in mind, take what resonates and leave the rest behind. Let's see, what are the messages for Pisces? Pisces, let your friends help you. It's saying ask for and accept some support from others. So Pisces, there could be someone here that you're attending. You can be going on a wedding. You can be a part of the wedding party, okay? The bridesmaids are standing up for the groom. It feels like these friends of yours are going to have this lovely conversation. And they're trying to help you to steer you in the right direction, okay? This could be someone that wants to marry you. Somebody that you might be facing a situation with, okay, where you're either in it or you're out of it. Like for some of you, somebody like in your friendship can be telling you, yes, go for it, go for it. But there's unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep a relationship going. So you could be feeling like, you know what, I I'm trying to move forward, I wanna move on. There could be a choice you have here. It's either, it's like settle for somebody here where you have a deep bond, a friend. This could be just a friend that you've been dating. But you know that this level, this relationship that's going to be going, this person could be wanting more. Somebody here wants more than just a friend. And this might be like, you know what, you've invested, you're not really attracted to them. This is somebody where you feel the relationship isn't going anywhere. There's not enough attraction, unrequited love. So it could be like, yeah, and then I see reconciling. Okay, let's see why. Keep an open mind. So Pisces, it's telling me the person you're connecting with, okay? You get along, all you, you this person's friends, groups, they love being, like I feel, in a room with you. This is somebody who admires you but they're not the same thing that you're used to. It's like your usual type, your usual expectations of what you are attracted to. So you've been optimistic about this person. You're trying to keep an open mind, you're open-minded, but I feel your heart's not in it, even though there could be a feeling where you're holding back your heart, okay? Because there's romantic feelings here. There are romance, it is here. Now, you're feeling that this can be real. It's worth exploring. It's telling you, yes, there is romantic feelings that are opening up here. Your soul may, may be taller than your usual type or shorter, or this can be someone who is very um, highly ranked when it comes to militant, okay? For some of you, this person's highly ranked. This is someone who's very serious about you, okay, Pisces? And that's what I feel. I feel romance is definitely here. And you're about to see their real emotions because this person is now, I feel, opening up how they feel about you, okay? It feels like you're the social butterfly, Pisces. There'll be events, gathering, galas. There's a lot of dressing here. I see gowns, like I'm feeling for if you're a woman. I see you're gonna be wearing like full length gown, right? Going to an event, going to a party, social gathering, social butterfly. Romance is here. Pisces. So let's see for Pisces. This is for Pisces Collective. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node. Wherever they have it. This is for June. June 2023 for Pisces. From the 11th through the 30th for Pisces. And then we're going to get some epiphanies. But let's just jump in. So this is someone who, like I say, it, it takes that investment to, to make a commitment. Right now, you're not 
committed. It feels like you're getting ready to. It kind of feels like you know a commitment's here. Yeah, and if you haven't been feeling the romance, they're here. It's saying your feelings are real. That you, they're worth exploring this connection. It's like saying don't just run away from it. It's like time to explore it. Get to know this person on a deeper level. And I feel that's what, what's going on. And you have a support team around you that is letting you know that if you're looking for attraction and chemistry, like passion isn't everything, right? And love, like you're just not, you're not feeling the love, but yet here comes the love. If you haven't been feeling it, here it comes. Because these feelings are real. They're worth exploring. This tells me romance. This person is going to open up to you. And it's going to be a lighthearted energy. Okay? They're going to come in and try to melt your heart. Charm you. Okay, Pisces? So, at the bottom of the deck, victory and reward. You'll be in the hot seat. Six of Wands. This is popularity like I'm seeing. You're very popular. You're in the spotlight. This is your self-confidence. I feel that you're coming back. You're, 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 the five of wands is before the six of wands. So you were in competitive areas in the past. And now you're confident. Now you're winning. Okay, this is winning a battle, right? Coming back after a battle here. So let's see, Pisces. Your overall is ten of cups. Yeah, celebrations victories parties queen of swords but you're not happy you're not happy there is a feeling of queen of swords where you're turning your back okay you're in between this situation if you were someone who pisces is having a problem when it comes to a family dynamic okay it's like you're not even happy in the connections you're in right now you're better off, like you're feeling you're better off going solo. Because it's like when you talk to these friends that you're around Three of Cups, okay, something's going on with these friends. Some, one of these friends here has disappointed you, okay? So it feels like, Pisces, you've lost attraction, okay, with groups, friendships, and there's a lot of growth. The Queen of Swords is very direct. She's solo. She's very clear. She doesn't sugarcoat anything. So there's someone here who could be cutthroat with you, okay? There could be somebody that's here and there's unrequited love, okay? Queen of Swords. It also feels like with all these threes, there could be something here and we're going to clarify. I see that the Six of Wands is here with the Hermit. Somebody here that I feel you haven't been talking to, Virgo energy. This could be somebody here that I feel that has been soul searching. Four of Pentacles, they're resisting you. This could be you blocked this person, seven of ones. It feels like the conflict is behind you, okay? There's a feeling of this person here not communicating. You cutting uh, something off. This could have to do with a third party situation. And there's unrequited love here, okay? So it feels like there's not enough attraction to keep this family dynamic or this relationship that you were involved with that one time bring happiness but now it's like you're in between this place that you're facing now and it feels like this is definitely go time it's like gay game time on queen of swords okay being honest so let's see what happened in the past here in the past six of swords you could have moved on pisces relocated six of swords was you moved away from some conflict you saw something here and it feels like you move towards a brand new opportunity, Page of Pentacles. It feels like you've made peace with the past. And yeah, water sign, King of Cups here. For some of you in the past here, you reckon you were in a situation where there could have been travel. You could have reconciled with someone from your past. This could be a father figure. Doesn't have to be or a mother figure. It's a father figure. There's somebody here that I feel in the past King of Cups that you were invested in this Ten of Cups. So you were in a relationship, in a partnership, a part of this family dynamic, Pisces. And it feels like for some of you, you have a child with this person. You have a, a, a child. This could be the father of that child, right? And this was somebody who was coming in with an apology in the past. 
but it feels like you definitely put your guard up, right? Seven of wands. There was a struggle here in the past. This was somebody you defended yourself from. You took back your power. It feels like you were burnt out and you moved forward. And this person could have come back in the past wanting to reconcile with you. But you moved on. You made it clear. And now this person sees you moving forward. What's the three of cups in your current energy? What is this that you're pointing to? You're ready to hear from this person. Yeah. You know the players on their way back to you. Knight of Wands. You know you have somebody here that's been in and out. Someone that's a friend, someone that likes to party, somebody that enjoys gatherings. This is a social butterfly. But the Knight of Wands is somebody here who's unreliable. Three three cups, somebody who's like good time Charlie, right? Ace of Swords, and that's the truth. You want the truth. You want justice. You want the clear truth. Yeah, and four of cups. And this person's going to be in this filling up. Now the tables have turned. They're rejecting. They feel you're going to reject them. Yeah. Moon. And they're keeping the secrets hidden. Moon. Cancerian energy. So Pisces, there's something around secrets coming out. The truth is coming out. Yeah. And now the Four of Cups is saying there's somebody here that's no longer interested in a third party. The Ace of Swords is a brand new beginning. Okay. So it feels like you've definitely lost the sparks to someone here you don't trust moon card. You don't trust this person. It's hidden under the moon. So the new moon in Gemini that's happening tomorrow here could definitely bring in a healthy uh, perspective, you know, for you. Like I feel like you have a healthy perspective. Now you're looking at things in a clear mind where you know the truth and you're just waiting for this person to give you the truth. Four of Cups, because someone here is like rejecting an offer. It's rejection. Somebody's feeling rejected. What's coming in the near future? Lovers popped out in Four of Pentacles. Venus and Taurus, Gemini, and Ten of Wands. You're making a clear choice for some of you to bring justice or wanting justice, Libra energy. So it tells me you're balancing the scales, finding balance. The equinox is going to be coming out on the 21st. So I feel like you're making a conscious decision for some of you. For some of you, there's resentment here, 10 of ones. There's burdens, a heavy load. The, the, the lovers is a feeling here of trusting in the conscious connection. You have an angel's blessing here. You have the divine blessing, you Venus and Libra. Something very favorable is going to work out for you. And this is where things come into a balanced approach, okay? So it's like you may not see this coming, but there's definitely a very favorable decision here of the truth coming out. And a, a situation where you could move forward now, ten of ones, and drop the baggage to a situation, okay? Things that have been dragging on. So Pisces, what is this for your challenge? You're dealing with Mars and Aries. You're dealing with somebody who's ruthless, somebody who's heartless, three of swords, somebody who has high expectations, they're reckless, they're risk-taking, and nine of wands. This person can put you on edge. You can be feeling paranoid when it comes to this person. The three of swords tells me the third party situation's on the table, but in the challenge tells me you're ready to release the pain. You're ready to let go, three of swords, because your happiness is the most important to you. This tells me there was somebody here that was very reckless, very ruthless with you, okay? Could be Mars and Aries, could have heavy Aries, could have an Aquarius, okay? Uranus, energy, and Libra, yeah? A separation, a legal separation, documents, a contract that's ending here is what I'm feeling. Justice is here. So like I feel it's too risk taking for you to take. And there's a feeling of you not taking action on this. You could be an Aries cusper, Pisces. It feels like there's definitely a feeling of excess control. Too much control here, right? And let's see what your advice is, Pisces. Venus, there you go, the Empress and the Emperor. Wow, feminine and masculine. Your advice is now you know your worth, now you know your value. That's the law of attraction. 
You are divinely, yeah, and Mercury. When Mercury tomorrow will be shining the light, it enters the sign of Gemini. And with Venus moving into the sign of Leo, for sure, Pisces, this is definitely you. Game on. Ready to attract all the blessings. There's no need to worry. Nine of Swords. You are attracting great love and great abundance here to you. Like I feel, Mercury is taking action. You're very skillful. You're very attractive. This is gratitude. This is standing back up, taking back your power. One more for the advice. Spirit's advice is to use your resources and take action. It's time to concentrate, focus. It's time to get ready to receive what you've been manifesting on tenfold, Pisces. Two of Cups, Soulmate, Unified Love, Attraction, Harmony, Two of Cups. What you've been attracting, it's time, divine timing. Major turning point, Spirit says. Now, Pisces, Saturn will be going retrograde in your chart, okay? Pluto went retrograde in Capricorn today. This is Jupiter. Jupiter is going to be in the sign of Taurus, which is ruled by Venus for one year until next May. This is Mercury, Venus getting together in Jupiter. Are you ready for expansion? Are you ready for growth? This is about divine timing. This is luck is on your side. This is a karmic cycle that's coming around and it's bringing in a soulmate, a partnership here. This can be Pisces, two people. If it's not love, it's someone here. This could be business partnerships, a friend for life, uh, a sibling. It could be what you've manifested. For some of you, Pisces, you're, you're a spiritual healer, you're a teacher, you're a guru. And the time is now. There's a turning point that's happening for you. And it's leaving you into this two of cups, which is in harmony with what you've manifested. You have a date with destiny, two of cups. Like I feel, let's see your outcome. Seven of cups. Pisces, that's you. You have options. You may not be clear right now. There's a feeling here of knight of cups. New love is here. There is a love offer that's being presented to you. It could be a fellow water sign, nine of swords. There is somebody here, okay, that's severely under this illusion, this delusion. You know, this can be how you're feeling. You're stressed out right now, whether or not you should move forward, right? Knight of Cups. Knight of Cups is a new opportunity. It is a more loving feeling of going with the flow, Knight of Cups. Uh, Mars and Gemini energy here. It's like you have anxiety or sleepless nights over these opportunities. Three of Wands is here at the bottom, Aries, Leo, Sag. But like I'm feeling, you're looking at an opportunity where I feel you have two options. You got a choice. You got this romantic person that your friends could be saying, yes, you know, this is your person. And then you got someone from the past. Someone here that made you feel like an option before. Someone here that you could have experienced this rejection, this pain, right? And then we have this Knight of Wands that's on its way. So one night, two nights, you know, there's movement here. And it feels like Ace of Swords, there's your brand new beginning of being clear on what you want because I feel you're rejecting this Knight of Wands. It's somebody here that's been in and out of your life. There is a feeling of this person. You know that they're coming from a third party. You know that that person, who they are. You have this page and the night. It feels like right now, there is a feeling of you coming to understand. You're going to be moving forward, breaking out of this Seven of Cups, which is temporary illusion, delusion, and Nine of Swords. Let's see why. What's the Seven of Cups? Thinking, choices, keeping your options open. Did I see that? It's your feeling on edge right here, nine of wands. This is where you need to be resilient. It feels like a feeling here of calming your mind down, calming your emotions down. 
This is a reality check. You have the sword coming in that's going to clear that seven of cups. This could be something you're not seeing right now, but the sun shining on that and the five of swords. So you have somebody here, one of these cups is somebody here who you have conflict with, someone who you had a fight with. There's definitely the sun, Leo. Somebody here that wanted to win at all costs with you. Okay, somebody here can be um, very hard-headed when it comes to this situation. Lots of trouble, lots of conflict that comes in with one of these cups. So like I'm saying, it's risky. It feels like with the sun, there's going to be a positive resolution, Pisces. When sun and Leo comes in, this is going to illuminate, okay, the conflict, the internal, the external, the mental conflict, the emotional conflict, okay? There's been a lot of competition, a lot of feelings here of jealousy, okay? Someone who's very jealous of you, Pisces, five of wands, five of swords, conflict and chaos. And the truth is coming out with the sun card. So there's definitely going to bring success to something you were choosing. Why is this Knight of Cups here? There's no love here. And Nine of Pentacles. And now it feels like you are definitely available single. The Nine of Pentacles is someone who got it all together. Someone who's single, successful, invested in herself, sufficient. Someone who's a boss. Somebody's working on their self here. They're working on their finances. Here comes a new opportunity. And this person sees you glowing. This Knight of Cups is definitely, they see you glowing. There's attraction and chemistry here. You have somebody who's very attractive. This is a Knight of Wands. They can be an entre entrepreneur. This could be somebody who I feel definitely is a very hardworking individual. I feel you have your options are open. Love, you are attracting great love. You have two opportunities or even three. You got a Knight of Cups, Prince Charming, Prince Loyal, and a King. There is a King of Wands here. This is somebody who is very attracted to you. They've got their eyes set on you. So it tells me, Pisces, this is an individual. Like, you got opportunities right now. I feel that you have definitely... Could be stressed out because you don't know which one to choose, right? It could be like there's conflict over you. There could be uh, fights or a feeling of people competitive over you. You're the empress. What's the nine of swords? You're looking so lovely and so beautiful this summer. Yeah, the nine of swords is you not knowing which one to choose. Trust your intuition. The twos are here, two, two, and we saw the other two. You have a choice in love. It's time for you to get your priorities in the right uh, order. It's time for you to manage your finances so that you can be more stable when it comes to your finances. Two of Wands is get ready to explore something new. There's something you're leaving behind that are no more sparks. It's like this is what's sparking your interest, but you haven't made the, yet, the next step. This is about you getting ready to discover something here. And you're about to discover, okay, things about yourself that there's completions, world card, major completions happening. This is Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, fixed energy, okay? This is about your hard work and your dedication paying off, Pisces. Travel is here with the world card. An accomplishment. You've gained wisdom and knowledge. And now you're in the Empress. You are manifesting. This is ask and you shall receive. Like a genie bottle. Rub the lamp. What do you wish for? It's the universe's command to bless you. Like I'm kidding. Like I'm not. Big blessings here, Pisces, for you. Coming in, Jupiter, to bring expansion, growth, manifestation, abundance, wealth, health, beauty. This is admiration. This is definitely a new beginning where you're taking action. This is your skill set, your mindset, how you work. This is alchemizing. This is a teacher, a role model, a counselor, uh, universal energy all around planets that are moving in. And this is life changing for you. Life changing events unfolding. I will see you in the next reading again. Thank you so much for all of your lovely comments. I appreciate each and every one of you. 
I am blessed by all of you. Thank you so much.